Welcome back everybody to Squid Junction number 49. My name is Bio and I'm joined here by the one and only Nut Muncher, also known as MM. And we are coming back to you with our second, well, you know, full set uh, of, of the evening between Captain Happy Crew and uh, Half Sun. Tell me MM, what do you think of this matchup? Well, Captain Happy Crew, I, I have heard of them here and there. They they did just upset C4 to get here, so we'll see if they can upset Half Sen. But Half Sen is, of course, half a full Sen, which is where the name comes from. You know, you got Liam and Shockwave from Full Sen, and you got some other subs in there too. And seeing the map mode combinations, you, you know how Squid Junction works. You know, you have your seven options when time goes on and then you get to strike and ban some options. Uh, both of these teams decided, uh, Splat Zones? Ew. Yeah, no. They, 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 uh, no, no, they, they are both literally uh, in Evil Japan. Uh, uh, you made a joke about it recently, it's like uh, Evil Japan do like, I hate zones, and that's literally what we're seeing here. These two teams are very zones phobic. They do not want to play that mode whatsoever. So that is going to be that is going to lead to our first map being tower control on Undertow Spillway. Yeah, that's going to start with CC Undertow, which not a lot of people like. I, I don't see many people favoring this map mode, but I, I mean, I'm chill with it. It's fine, it's fire. Like, I'll play it. I, I have no objections. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those very forgettable map mode combinations. It's nothing really you know it, 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 it's obviously ass like you know like, like all the Splatoon 3 stages but uh but it's not particularly ass right it's kind of just there so it, it yeah it, it, it's nothing particularly special what i am interested to see though is that we may be seeing a lot of um uh, a lot of options that may not be as popular on some more open maps which is i don't know nautilus we've been seeing a lot and actually yeah especially since we have a nautilus specialist on the side of half send shockwave coming up against a quad shooter composition Wait, from no. captain happy crew um and, oh, no, no, no. and actually, shot squeezer splash this yeah, is just this S2. is two. Two. and no, no no and it's actually kind of funny because in, in the in the previous set i was i was i was saying oh i'm really curious to see if uh, if we're going to see a squeezer come out, and yeah, and in just the perfect comp ever, this is peak Splatoon 2 memories that Captain Happy Crew really want back. Yeah, they're literally playing an S2 comp, which the crazy part is almost all of those options you see Ryan a lot in the high and top levels of the meta right now, except for like, I mean, you see, oh, whoa, okay, okay, double with the Zooka, I respect it, I respect it. Jax with the double. We're seeing them go in here trying to get out this other shot, but they're gonna go down to them too. And we're seeing the first team gonna shred a checkpoint being half sent. As they're gonna be going further, the cooler still on the tower about to expire here as Stockwood is gonna go down to the shot. They're just going back and forth here. They're on the backside of Jax, gonna be able to get him out from the behind. Gonna be able to be going forward here on the right side, trying to stay alive. They have the cooler, so again, they don't really care if they get put out on the floor. As they're just, both of them are just trying to get in. They're both trying to take space. They're both trying to get the tower, but the, no team is truly getting the other out of their own space. Two down on the side of Captain Happy Crew might give some input, but we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's honestly a pretty stally game right now. Hafsen do have the lead, but it's not that, uh, it's not that major, it's only 73. Uh, but they are starting to get a little bit of an advantage. Captain Happy Crew, hold up on this left side, is going to be pressured by Jack, trying to find some picks, but they are going to choose to uh, to play a lot safer. Actually doing a great job of stalling as their Zap player gets almost to the end of uh, of the penultimate checkpoint, but it's not quite going to be enough. Captain Happy Crew is going to be able to defend, sending half send, well, you know, sending them, you know, I'm sorry for that pun, uh, all the way back to spawn and giving out Captain Happy Crew a clear cut shot at, at getting a pretty good push setup. Yeah, they're having a good job here. One down on both sides here as Buns is trying to stay alive, pushing up on Shockwave, gonna get that pick as Captain Happy Crew is gonna be moving on to the tower, trying to push forward towards that second checkpoint. We're seeing the shot, looking dead eyes into the Zooka. 
while the Neo Slash is gonna go down to them, two down on the side. A Captain Happy Crew is not gonna do him any favors. The Squeezer gonna trade with the Wiper Deco here as Geo is back on the tower, living another day, trying to push back up because they want that second checkpoint gone. They want it to have an easier time, but Geo is going to live that suction bomb and put their tactical alert on the tower here, trying to stay alive. Everyone trying to push up here, but Shockwave is going to go down here. The shot's going to go down. There is a flank coming out. Geo's down, and it's just the white protector. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It, 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 yeah, that, that flank is, is going to do wonders uh, when this doesn't get some happy crews, uh push. But regardless, it is still going to be half sent with uh, with the man disadvantage, getting pushed back quite a ways away, and and honestly just struggling as Quanyo gets pick after pick after pick, clearing up so much space for their team. It is going to be the missiles though once again. Actually, you know, another reference is platoon two coming out here. Just up, moving all of Captain Happy Crew off the tower. It is not, it is only going to stall them out for a little bit as they do eventually go back to the tower, get that lead, keep going, and be getting two picks on half cent. At three picks now, and all of a sudden, oh. it what what was just looking like a mild inconvenience now looking very dangerous for half cent. They used a lot of their resources just to try and stop that lead switch, but now, but not only did they fail that, but also uh, Captain Happy Crew is honestly on a really good trajectory to even possibly knock this out if they play their cards right. Yeah, no, they're looking really good right now. We're seeing the Squeezer trying to stay alive against the shot. Can he be able to get a trade? And it's only Shockwave left alive with this ton of Wiper Deco coming back out too. They're trying to... They're just trying to get in there, but Captain Happy Crew is keeping the momentum going, getting all the way to the third checkpoint, but not getting anything done in there, but either way, it's down to the last 30 seconds, and now it is up to half cent in order to at least get to that last checkpoint. Neo Splash going to go down, Shockwave is taking that Trizuka head on and going to be able to win, clogging that Zuka up as they are just trying to push forward. The cooler coming out, but what's this? From the behind, from downtown, there's a flank going on. The zap is down, and the shot is still alive. Gonna be coming from the behind. The shockwave, no. Does he know? He does not. The other two are oh, gonna get picked off by the shot, and the triple. They that didn't was know. <laughs> fantastic play coming out from the shot on the side of Captain Happy Crew to seal the deal, the final nail in the coffin for half and that, and that is going to be game one going to Captain Happy Crew. You're absolutely showing off that Splatoon 2 meta, it is not quite dead in the ground yet. They still have quite a ways to go with that quad shooter composition. I'm not going to lie, I was not too thrilled to see it uh, back again, but but honestly, yeah, congrats to Captain Happy Crew for, uh, for taking that first game against Half Sun. Yeah, and that flank coming at the end was just so perfect because it was able to take the entirety of Half Sun by surprise and take him out. But we'll see if they're going to be able to pull off a flank like that on something like Scorch Gorge instead. This time we're going to be going on Rainmaker where Cooler and Jet used to reign supreme before, but now they reign supreme on like everything. So it's not just a mode exclusive thing. So, you know, they're living. Yeah, no. And, but yeah, regardless, we're going to be moving on to our game two map here. Uh, Rainmaker on Scorch Gorge. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't really see why why these players would choose maps like these, uh, especially, you know, moving on to the game three, Clan Blitz on Manta Maria. I don't see why these teams would choose that over some of the zones maps that we have. Um, I know that I would not be too thrilled about playing some of these new maps that these players are so adamant about playing. I don't know. I mean, all these maps are fine or good that I'm seeing. Like, uh, I have no complaints about any of them. I, I mean, not all about you. Uh, I don't know. I do. I am not a big fan of some of these maps. Like Scorch Gorge Rainmaker. Sure, it's a you know it's a classic. You know, it's, it screams Platoon Three, but. Man, it's not the most fun, oh, and especially shooter. when we're seeing so many shooters. Once again, Captain Happy Crew pulling out the quad shooters platoon 2S composition. 
with half cent the only switch they're they're actually going towards wiper uh vanilla the vanilla version of wiper so we are not going to be seeing any missiles coming out from their team very interesting uh seeing as they don't have a backline to exert that much pressure that uh that missiles uh could have pulled off in the last game so it is pretty curious to see how they're gonna be playing this and it's actually not turning out too well for them as they go three down Captain Happy Crew showing off the aggressive potential of their four shooters with all that mobility, all that broad damage, and quickly beelining towards the first checkpoint. I can see why they were thinking V Wiper. Sure, Wiper Deco is the better variant, but V Wiper does have a niche in like Rainmaker because of the Ultra Stamp. But with that 36 already on the board for Captain Happy Crew, going to be picked off by the Trizuka shot. And now they are trying to push forward and trying to take some space. Two down the side of Captain Happy Crew. The members of Hafsen have got to push up here. The only one left alive is the Squeezer. They don't know where the Squeezer is, but they're already running for that checkpoint, but not going to be able to take it down. The Zuka coming out, trying to see if they can pick off any members of Hafsen here. Only one going down is Shockwave, but they had that cooler. So, of course, their Ink Storm is going to be staying alive. We're going to see if that Ink Storm is going to be able of any use as we're seeing the Rainmaker being picked up here. But even though they were surrounded, they did not get picked. Uh, why? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, yeah, sure, that was really funny. But what's even funnier is the fact that the actual the Ultra Stamp got canceled by grabbing the Rainmaker. So, I mean, I... <laughs> That was just a very, very interesting interaction between the, you know, between the Rainmaker and some of the members there. But it's going to, regardless, result in Captain Happy Crew losing the checkpoint to half cent. They do still have a pretty comfortable deal of 37, especially on such a solid map such as this one. But with a little bit less than 3 minutes remaining, uh, half cent still have uh, a lot of opportunities to make something happen. As we're seeing right now, that Ink Storm clearing out a lot of space, but... Regardless, Captain Happy Crew is going to keep half cent from going any further with just the raw amount of bombs that they're spamming. Ooh. They have a triple suction bomb composition. They are walling out half cent, but it's not quite going to matter if the Trizuka gets two, searches for a third, and half cent have a clear road to the uh, to the lead. It's not quite going to happen, but they have a lot of momentum on their side. And it's looking really dangerous for Captain Happy Crew if they can't stop this push in their tracks right now. And they don't, as Hapsen managed to just barely sneak through all that paint, all those bombs, and snag a lead of 26. They were just able to do that despite all the pressure. The Wiper was just able to get in there and carry it to 26. And now it is up to Captain Happy Crew to say, okay, we have two minutes. We got to get to 25. These guys have got to go. We got to pick them off here. Two down though on the side, but they peak Azuka. That ain't going to go well. And a double coming out from Jax here. Wanting to make it a triple, but no, that shot is going to stay alive and make sure that they are not going to go down. Captain Happy Crew needs all the resources they can get right now as we are seeing Curb trying to come in here. They have their Ultra Stamp at the ready, but there's nothing to really shred right now. So they're just they're just gonna play for a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure they pop the Ultra Stamp, but they're gonna go down to it is three down on the side of half side, not looking good. One left alive. This is the perfect chance for Captain Happy Crew to make a push, to get something going, and to take a lead here. Triple Ink Strike coming in the perfect way to segue a Rainmaker in, but oh, what's this? Is there someone from the behind? I saw those shots. Is there what? someone still back there? Is it enough though? Can they get the lead here and now? No, and the squeak. Oh, nope, nope, nope. They got, they got wiped out. Yeah, and with just a little bit, with 50 seconds remaining, that wipeout is devastating for uh, for Captain Happy Crew. They're gonna need to find a way in, but it's not. It's gonna be really difficult. Half Cent is holding on to this Rainmaker. They are hunting down all the members of Captain Happy Crew, keeping them from staying alive and getting any possible momentum on their side. 30 seconds remaining, we just crossed the important marker. Shockwave on the flank, barely misses a pick, but nonetheless uh, chugs out a ton of pressure, and th but three down the side of half cent. Wait, no, it is a shot 1v1 right now between Captain Happy Crew and half cent. They Wait. need to win this fight if they want to have a chance of winning this, but no, it's just oh, starting a lot. Captain Happy Crew do get the pick. They have a chance here with overtime. They do grab the Rainmaker, but I they lose it at the last second, and it is going to be game 
two going to half set. Half set showing that they're not going to go down just yet. They still got some fight in them, and they were able to hold off enough and get enough pressure when. Captain Happy Crew was just trying to hold it down to take that second game and make sure they're still living it. We, we are going to tower control Sturgeon's Shipyard. We are seeing that, but first, we're seeing Clamblitz Manta, aka you probably want a Kraken. AKA you probably want some beacons, and therefore, AKA you probably want a crack on Roland. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> terrible. But, uh, uh, but yeah, this is, you know, this is honestly the biggest reason why I was saying, why did these people block out all the zones maps? Because I am an adamant hater of playing this map. So I hate this map with a passion. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I have no fond comments to make uh, uh, about this map mode combo. I hate it with all my heart. It is so infuriating to play. So, again, maybe you could give a more unbiased and neutral opinion than I I mean, I, I, I definitely like it. I think Manta Maria is a fine map, and especially Clamlets is probably the best mode because it doesn't take out some of the things that other modes did take well, out, like okay. grounds and stuff like that. Of, okay, it's not really some of the things. It's one singular thing, and it's that inkable block on the right side. You have no idea how much that inkable block. Yeah, no, it, <laughs> it instantly makes an entire separate route for approaching, which, you know, is good, but still, you know, I gotta hate, I gotta hate. This map is terrible. Nah, I, I love it. I love it. It's a good but, map mode. Yeah, Especially but, the bunkers. They're fun. The bunkers, really? That's your favorite part? Really? <laughs> Tetra and T Tech? <laughs> Yeah, and, and actually, options. we're finally seeing Captain Happy Crew switch off of their quad shooter. Round of applause, everyone, for moving along with the time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And yeah, <laughs> Captain Happy Crew switching off of the squeezer to go with that ball point. Another another great midline to backline option. With half send, like you said, going with the T-Tech Tetra Duo. Very interesting to see. Uh, Nautilus and Tetra, uh, you know, as a Tetra player myself, I have always loved that duo. So I'm, so I'm, you know, I'm pretty ecstatic to see how these two teams, how this team brings it out. But it doesn't seem to be working very well as Captain Happy Crew once again coming out with a very aggressive push right out of the gate. They have a power gun set up. They need to grab it. They do, and that is going to be a quick, a quick and decisive. Push for Captain Happy Crew. Half send once again three down and in no position to defend against Captain Happy Crew's raw aggression. Yeah, already getting it down to 53. Jack's getting in there, going to be able to take down Captain Happy. Two down on Captain Happy Crew here as the shot is trying to push up, but Jack's is staying alive here. But they're going back on Bass. They're deciding this is not a push I am willing to take right now as they're just trying to keep the paint. We're seeing the Zooka come out here, but they're willing to go for the Zooka head on. Gonna be able to get that pick there as Geo staying alive. They have their cooler effect and they're trying to get another cooler right now alongside getting those two more clams. But we're seeing a shark from the Neo Splash trying to take down Geo. Not gonna be able to do it, but there's another one over there. It's the shot, but the re-slider coming in trying to help them out, but they, but they were already gone. So that re-slider didn't really do much for them. As they're already getting set up, they just need to get a super clam. There they go. They get it. And now they're throwing in as many clams as possible. Enough to take the lead. Curb gonna go down as Quanyo is trying to step up. Captain Happy taking control of the street again. You see buns coming from the top right. They, they got control, they got the picks, and now they're coming back. Hassan has a little lead right now, but there's three minutes, and right now it looks like anyone's game still. Yeah, Captain Happy Crew didn't quite manage to defend against that lead, like you said. Uh, Cap uh, Hafsen didn't manage to just barely edge out that lead, but still, uh, Captain Happy Crew do manage to reset the game to neutral, but regardless, Hafsen already just bringing back that energy, that momentum that they showed off in their push to 50, and already setting up with that tri strike, with that power clam, with that tactic cooler, and, and they missed the power clam. I mean, they make it in, but man, that was definitely anticlimactic. But regardless, already a push to 40 with a power clam jump in, possibly extending it to 20. Yes, they do. And now, I mean, two players down at the side of half set is definitely not ideal. But regardless, Captain Happy Crew 
are now being faced with the possibility of a knockout later in this match. A lead of 20 is nothing to sneeze at. And Captain Happy Crew is now re is now facing a real big hurdle. Yeah, they're now facing something and they need to come back from this. Two down on Captain Happy Crew. The Trizuka trying to back up while giving those shots out. And you see Jax trying to come here on the bunker. It's a shot versus shot, but the T-Tech is going to come out on top. They do a little kiss and they're going back down. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? What are you supposed to talk about? What was that? That was so unnecessary. That was... That was not... <laughs> <laughs> They were just looking. <laughs> he shot. <her. laughs> what if we um? What, what if, if we, we kiss, uh, on, uh, 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 What if we kiss on top of the Manta Maria grave? <laughs> what if we kissed on Mass? <laughs> 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 yeah, so after that, um, honestly, pretty erotic scene we just saw there between those two members on the side of half Zen. <laughs> Captain Happy Crew. <Bert. laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Either way though, down for the last 30 seconds, we see Geo here. They have their cool at the ready, and we see Hassan, their team still has the advantage. They still have the lead, and they're making sure Captain Happy Crew can't get out of there, but with two specials at the ready, but the shot's gonna go down. Tri Strike is into play, but that Tri Strike ain't gonna do much. That Tri Strike did not do much. Two down. We're seeing the Zap make it. The Zap is just being a hater, just throwing all yeah, the Yeah, no, just throwing the plan. That is sick. Wow. Like, yeah, we're seeing Captain Happy trying to get the pick, but now it is down to overtime, and luckily they still have their Super Clam at the ready. So they can still make something happen, but it's like, they they gotta go. They gotta yeah, they go. They gotta go now, to right? They, they're, their overtime is already more than halfway over. It's almost done. They need to go now. They're they're trying to make some space happen with uh, with the try strikes. Wait, it goes in. It goes in two down on the side of Captain Happy Crew. Wait, no, it's evened out now. Half Sent actually is kind of struggling to defend here. But Ooh, it's actually, no, never mind. It's not quite going to happen. It's only Quanio alive. They have no clans. They're going to run in. They can't really do anything. And that is going to be game two going to half send and put, giving them match and putting them at match point. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I'm. Yeah, we, we we are very very sorry, Half Send. Uh, your your win was just completely overshadowed by the fact that two of your members kissed on the so, uh, yeah. <laughs> What if we kiss on the Manta Maria mask? <laughs> I can't play can't play Splatoon without things getting a bit fruity. <laughs> Uh, either way, now Half Cent is one game away from taking this set, and it's going to be decided on Tower Control Sturgeon Shipyard. Can they make everything go down here and now? We're just going to have to wait and see and find out. They're probably going to stick with the Neo Splash. That's been. It might not have been working for Captain Happy Crew recently. It only worked really on the first game. But you have to pay attention. The first game was TC. This game's TC. Hear me out. Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, I think uh, honestly, the biggest thing that we're probably going to be seeing from Captain Happy Crew is the return of the season. They're definitely going to bring that back. Uh, they, oh, they, yeah. they, they, they tried to experiment with the ball points, did not work out, so they're probably going to go back to the comfort pick up on the screen. Too. So, honestly, yeah, that is probably the biggest thing we're going to be seeing. On the side of Hapsen, honestly, they might stick with the Tetra. I would be ecstatic if they decide to go that road. Um, it's definitely a, a very different playstyle than what they were used to with that, uh, with that Viper Deco the last time we saw them on PC. But if they can make the if they can make the, the if they're confident with the Tetra play that they showed off on, on that Manta game, um, and, and of course the uh, that, that Tetra you know brought that little kiss, uh, you know, maybe things could uh, you know, work out for them in both in more ways than one.
<laughs> yeah, also, I did finish my Subway sandwich before the tournament. I'm not gonna eat it allegedly <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> I'm not gonna do intentional sabotage like that. I don't. I don't have food near me. But seeing the comps, yep, they're going back to their quad shooter here. Same thing with half send. They're going back to a very familiar comp to them. No more T Tech Tetra gameplay coming out here. Going back to V Shot and Wiper Deco instead. As now it is match point and half send is going to want to take the game here. They don't want Captain Happy Crew to get nothing. They are going to get nothing in this game. As the zap is already going down, but the tri strikes already coming out. There is a fight on that right side here. But the Neo Splash is trying to go in there. Gonna be able to take down Jax. They're trying to take out Shockwave too, but can't seem to find Shockwave. As the members of Captain Happy Crew are already prompting for this first tech point here. We see the squeezer. One more shot. Gonna be done. They're going forward. They're gonna. Uh, Ten of missiles are gonna put them back, though. Hey, hey. Even though they have a shot, they don't have ten of missiles. They don't. They don't have ten of missiles. That, that's something that the shot cannot replicate for S2. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, I guess, but it does not seem to be doing them any favors. As Captain Happy Crew is still going strong with their push, honestly. Half, half Sun do not seem to be showing off their uh, their signature uh, confidence and expression that they were that they were demonstrating on that Manta game, right? Uh, they, they, they're they playing a lot more defensive, which to be fair is probably due to their composition, but also it's just their their men, their play style is is a little bit too reserved, and they're letting Captain Happy Crew get away with a lot more stuff than they normally should be, and that's why we're seeing Captain Happy Crew still on the offensive, even after so much time after uh, they they established the Vita 41. Ooh. And yeah, like this the, yeah, like this Zuka clearing out that top right side gives Captain Happy Crew so much space to work with. Three down the side of half set now. They're struggling to defend the wiper can't go anywhere. They're just trying to farm another missile to to find a way in, but with 15 points remaining, it's looking really diff really difficult for Hafsen to do anything. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's going to be a knockout, actually, on the side of Captain Happy Crew. They were in the driver's seat this entire match, not letting Hafsen breathe at all. And now, we are moving on to a Game 5. This is the pinnacle of what these two teams are searching for. This will be the match that determines which team moves on in winner's bracket and which one falls down to the depths of the losers. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be ending on Rainmaker Hagglefish. Whoever loses this will be going, of course, to the loser's bracket. They will be waiting on whoever wins between two teams, between Speaky Speaky, which is Vera, Hath, Nico, Chico from Sway, and Ali. And CRZT, which is like Cactus, Toya, Mr. Z, and Stay Gold. So whoever wins between those two will face off against whoever loses this set. And it's all going to boil down to this game five. Rainmaker on Hagglefish Market. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm, uh, again, I'm, I'm not impressed. I hate this. This is probably the one that I hate the most out of this. Is it because of the jump? Is it because it, of the jump? It's the the jump is part of it. The jump is part of it. It is, I don't know. I I I I just I just don't like the stage. I I mean I like the stage maybe on zones and and on tower, but Rainmaker mm -hmm. is gotta be the worst. Man, it is, I hate it without passion. It is painful to play on that on that stage on that mode. It's just, man, I really really don't like it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Rainmaker Aggle's fine, but whoever gets that jump going from the checkpoint to plat is most likely going to get the victory unless both of them get it and push it from there. That is definitely what both teams are going to be wanting to go for. As we are seeing the comps coming out here, both teams sticking to what they want, but actually a Tetra is coming out again instead of the Wiper Deco. Oh, with like, okay. no T Tech. With no T Tech to back it up, actually. That's a oh, really interesting play coming up. Absolutely. They got uh, the V-Shot, yeah. though. The V-Shot still cooks. Yeah. yeah, no, no. Like, they have the same 
premise, but they're opting to go with a much more aggressive potential with that Trizuka to, uh, to, to probably help the Tetris dive. But it's not really going to happen if they feed on the left side, now is it? It is going to end up in both teams being pretty evenly matched. A huge scrappy fight going on in mid. The uh, Captain Happy crew is going to end up with a sh on the sh with the short end of the stick, though, and Half Sen setting up a push straight towards the front of the uh, straight towards the, the middle checkpoint. But it's going to be swiftly stopped by Quanyo on that right side, setting up a lot. And actually, Half Sen not quite able to get past mid consistently, and Captain Happy crew. Uh, forcing them back into mid, not really letting them go anywhere. And once again, we're seeing these two teams get set up in a neutral game. Both of them are set up in this neutral game here. Sure, the lead is for half set, but it's truly any guns game right now as both teams have the neutral. They're just going back and forth at each other. Sometimes Captain Happy Crew is down, sometimes half set is down, but nobody's really making any big pushes here as it is a 4v4 two team members just got revived but the tetras are going to go down here geo is being backed up a good amount to the point where it's saying don't retreat don't retreat bro stop retreating don't retreat don't retreat <laughs> <laughs> and the splash gonna be able to get that pick by going up there as Juanyo is trying to get the picks but they're taking a 2v1 and they're just gonna get plastered going to be going down here as kirby coming from the left coming from the side trying to see if they can get anything from the bottom here not going to be able to get anything but going to be trying to make a distraction still no checkpoint but it's already two minutes past and no team has touched this checkpoint here try strike trying to stop geo from getting that check which which it does but ooh, ooh, what's that is that a left hey, checkpoint they hey. actually use the they did they, they use the alternate approach option what that's not allowed who could they they were supposed to keep you know banging their head against the wall until they eventually broke through the middle what are they doing but uh but yeah it is gonna end up working out for them they are gonna get the checkpoint an and a lead of 61. finally while captain happy crew hasn't even pushed the Rainmaker past the middle of the map, but I stand corrected. They all already on the lead of 88, and they won, and they're gonna go for the same thing. <laughs> Half Sen did not, did not learn from their own plays, and that is gonna be Captain Happy Crew swiftly grabbing the Rainmaker and grabbing the lead alongside with it, but losing three members in the process. That is actually getting wiped out. out. That is not what you wanna see, and that is gonna be a free counter push for Half Sen. Yeah, we see Geo a little bit behind, trying to come back with the Raybaker here, while the rest of them are keeping the aggression. They seem to be looking at mid and looking at that jump, which they get, getting the lead and push it all the way to 19. Before most of them are going to go down, it's just Shockwave left alive, and they gotta keep living in order to keep up that aggression. Of course, trying to back up a little bit, but not... Uh, uh... Yeah, you know what, I'm talking about you and hyping you up and trying to make sure you live, yeah... Okay. <laughs> anyway. Well, I mean, this is looking devastating for Captain Happy Crew, honestly, because as stolly as this map is, a lead of 19 is terrible, especially if you lose the Zuka battle. Man, that is... <laughs> That that, that you no know, that 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 that's, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. You know, losing losing that Zuka battle just in that crucial time, and we have now hit the 60 second marker. Half send really comfortable on this defense. Shockwave really just spamming point sensors, but they make the jump and they get all the way to 31. This push is not over yet. Two down on the side of Half Send. Captain Happy Crew using those tri strikes to try and pop the Rainmaker, going for it straight. They get a clean Ooh. pick. This might just be what they're waiting for. Oh. The Zuka gets a good pick. They do not grab the Rainmaker. Oh, but they die at the 28 point marker and three on the side of Captain Happy Crew is going to all but uh, confirm the end of their push. And Half Send just barely avoiding disaster with 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, that looks so good, but they got pushed back a little too far, and now it is only 10 seconds remaining. And judging by what this Rainmaker's at, it is not looking too good for them to make a counter push. They can keep the momentum, but the Neo Splash is going to go down. The Squeezer is down. It's just Captain Happy and Quanyo left alive, but Quanyo ain't looking too good. Already partialed by Zuka's shot. The 
Reeslider trying to come in from the behind, and Geo's coming from the behind too, and the back shots are going to take. Oh, this shut up! Don't say that. You can't. <laughs> yes, I can. No, you can't, bro. You said this. We, we though, though, we literally talked about this on break. You, you can't be saying this stuff. But yeah, uh, after, uh you know, re regardless of that comment, it is going to be half sem. Barely edging out that win and maintaining their spot in winner's bracket and finally facing off against, uh, what team did you say it was? Uh, Half Sun is going to be going up and facing against Seed 1, the Sandbird in winners, which is like Henlo, Luke, Sky, and Silva. Don't recognize some of those names, but I know Henlo's from like Sonder and Luke. Yeah, like yeah, so that's two player. Yeah, definitely some pretty big names, and that's going to be winner's semifinals. So they, this is, honestly, congratulations to Hafsen. That was an extremely close set. Both teams just barely hanging out by their fingernails, but Captain Happy Crew, unfortunately, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say it, but they, you know, they, 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 they got, you know, uh, they they struggle a little bit about uh, against half I'm I'm not gonna you know use the exact verbiage that you used, uh, and I'm, but uh, but yeah, it did it did end up with uh, with half send, uh sending them to the depths of losers bracket. Mm -hmm. And with that, we have our winners round five decided. We are going to be watching. Uh, I'm just gonna say push and P versus pickle jar and friends. Very, uh, very interesting. Maybe, maybe, perhaps, maybe Toshi will, um, will uh, give us a little gift in the, in the form of his uh, movie magic, and we'll see the miraculous transition from Captain Happy Crew versus Half Send to um, the other match. <laughs> the uh, the <laughs> other uh, match. Yeah, no, 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 yeah I, 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 I'm sorry, I completely forgot already. I, I definitely think of Toshi's movie Magic, you know, when I'm crossing the street a bunch of in bunch of in front of a bunch of cars. But of course I'm very what? excited to see this next set. What do uh, you what? What, what, what do you want? Oh, but, but with what? that but with that, we're gonna take a quick break while we set that up. So we will see you shortly.